Hey, that wasn't very nice. Yeah, no point in killing Valanese with a giant spider. She's died to arachnids plenty as it is. I guess we'll just have to visit the dock. He is, after all, the nexus for all events in Ooga Booga. Yes? Oh my! You bear a stunning resemblance to a young lady I met earlier this evening. That must have been my daughter, Rosella! My dear lady, do come in. That wasn't awkward or anything. So you are the mother of the charming Miss Rosella. Pleased to meet you, lady. Valenice of Daventry, sir. What a lovely name! I am Dr. Mort Cadaver. What can I do for you, Lady Valenice? Hey, where'd Mr. Nibbler go? When was the last time you saw my daughter? Where was she going? I saw her but a few short hours ago. She asked me about the Troll King, and very kindly brought me a new backbone. I do not know where she was headed. Dr. Cadaver, how was Rosella when you spoke with her? Did she seem well? Oh, abundantly so. She was the liveliest creature I've seen in years. Well, you do live in a land of the dead, so... Dr. Cadaver, I hope this isn't rude of me, but is everyone in Ooga Booga, well, dead? As a doornail, for the most part. Subtle. Forgive me, Lady Valenice, but I have to make a house call. Good evening, Valenice. I will let you know if I hear word of Rosella. Thank you, Doctor. Good night. Well, that was useless. Where the hell else can Valenice go for plot coupons, then? Maybe the Gravedigger is interested in helping? Worth a shot, I guess. Ah, uh, this really is Chapter 4, Part 2. Ah, uh, he's nowhere to be found. Well, um, hmm. Maybe the Crying Lady? I don't know. This game makes no sense. Look, I'll take on your case later. Whoa, Shadow Duck just got real. G good dog. Uh, nice dog. I guess he can't kill Valnice either. No anticlimactic. He doesn't want a stick. Pity, that would actually make sense. Hey, crying lady, tell us what to do. My lady, are you ill? I am dead! <laughs> Ooh. My goodness, could she ever use a facial? Valenice dies of fright, too. Jeez. I'm running out of places and people here to check game. Cat? My lady, are you Valenice of Daventry? Why, yes. How did you know? Listen carefully. Your daughter has left this land. She is in dire trouble in the bowels of the Great Volcano. 
But that's not the worst of it. The volcano will soon erupt, and then all will be lost, including your daughter. What? We cannot just stand by and do nothing? Seek help from the Kingdom of Etheria, Valenys. They have the power to break the enchantment. You must! Where is this Etheria? How can I get there? Etheria floats in the clouds far above us, lady. Once our Lord Count Seppish could have taken you there, but he's unfortunately lost his head. Find a way to help him, and he will certainly help you. Okay, I'm calling it. That damn cat read the script. That's twice now he's acted as a plot coupon. With no explanation of how he knew all of that either time. What the hell, Sierra? Yeah, nothing new here. Maybe the treehouse is open for visitors now? I mean, why the hell not? It would make as much sense as anything else. No? Come on, what am I supposed to do then? All I can think of is maybe reading the tomb the crying lady is in front of. I mean, I don't know why that would do anything, but it is King's Quest VII, a.k.a. the anti-logic. Vladimir Tsipish, fearless warrior, devoted husband, and Lord Protector of Ooga Booga Land. And I'm guessing that's him on the road there. Yep, he's looking pretty headless. So, now can I visit the treehouse? I mean, it is only MacGuffin Central and all. I can! Hooray for nonsensical triggers! Yeah, like I'm really gonna pass this one up. Still awesome. I knew there was a reason I always hated those things as a child. <laughs> Valens is even more of a coward than Rosella, huh? Animation glitch much? Hey you! Don't touch my doo! <laughs> that really is enough for now, though. Chapter 5, I mean, 5 resumes next time.